Where's the brunch? All three young women from Pictou County will be at the Nova Scotia Legislature taking part in a campaign to raise awareness of an organ donation. All of them were touched by someone needing an organ. As Kevin Harvey reports, one of the teenagers wanted to make a remarkable sacrifice. Last May, Scott McNeil's life changed. Went to the doctor and found out that I had total kidney failure. He's been on dialysis ever since and on a list for a kidney transplant. It's a long list and a long wait. You just hope for the best is all you can do. And the, and the three of you are going to represent Pictou County. Just up the road at Trenton Middle School, these three teens are part of a countrywide awareness campaign on organ donation. They entered an essay contest to represent their school. My grandfather died because there was no kidney transplant at the time when he passed on. And I think that if there had have been, and if people get more involved, then maybe I would have known him better and he would have lived longer. If someone in my family has an organ, needs an organ transplant, how do you think this will help? Because more people get involved and pe less people get in the waiting list and he might be able to get his kidney transplant. According to Greenhorn, wanted to go one step further. She, <laughs> she finally got it. Nobody knows what happened to him. The kidney lives next door to her mother's best friend. If I could donate a kidney, he might be able to live longer. At 14 years old, Courtney wanted to be a live donor and give one of her kidneys to McNeil. Because those, those people that are waiting on that list are in every day, just waiting for an organ. And it wouldn't really matter if I was in pain because they'd be living longer. But it turns out that Courtney can't go ahead with her extraordinary offer. The law says she's too young to donate a live organ. Scott McNeil knew nothing about the teen's gesture until he was contacted for an interview. It baffles me. It just, it melts me as, oh, I, I'm speechless, I am. I just can't believe someone so young would have such a big heart. Courtney hopes the awareness campaign works and McNeil will soon get his new kidney. If not, when she's 18, she'll get tested to see if she's a match. Kevin Harvey, CBC News, Trenton. The flu season is almost here again. Today, a 